we are and what we are is an illusion. On heels causing confusion. We face life though it's sometimes sweet and sometimes bitter. Face life with a little gas and lots of bitter. Under our frocks, girdles and jocks, proving we are what we are. On what we are. again. I want to talk to you today about La Caja Fall. It was one of, uh, really one of the most fun shows that I've ever done before, and in many ways one of the most professional. Because we had two equity actors, we had almost, it felt like in a way like the show was completely balanced, because, because we had these two pillars of acting that were the two which were actually the couple that, you know, we're always looking for that couple with connection. And since they're professionals, they connected, you know, yeah. I mean, they just did their job. Is that the way you feel about it a little bit with working with those two guys? Well, yeah. I mean, they were both very, very experienced um, and mature and professional. And so, of course, you know, it makes them, you know, a dream to work with, which they were. And because, you know, they are pretty much the core of that show it's nice to know that you've got that caliber of performer and person to hold that down because in every show you know people are looking to the other cast members around them to kind of find their place in all of it and and so yeah so that was great you know and it's also you know, to any director who's watching this who also works with a uh, a show where you have a couple of uh, equity members and then you've got a cast that's not. So your rehearsal process is uh, pretty choppy because <laughs> you can't get the equity people until considerably later. And right. by then you've blocked or tried to do all of this stuff around them. And you have to have a cast that is um, able to do that. You know, where you're saying, uh, now, while you're doing this, so-and-so is right here. Or if you're fortunate enough, you have uh, maybe somebody that can stand in to be that person. So you also need a cast, you know, supporting an ensemble of people who can, you know, deal with a, a missing person for a while. And you don't get them until the last two or three weeks right. to sort of plug them in. And then they have to sort of jump in on top of everything. One of my favorite things, aside from the fact the minute that you guys mentioned um, Lacage, uh, Lord knows I jumped at that one because I just love that show. Uh, I, I love, obviously, I love what it has to say. I love the music. And the minute it came up, I thought, you know, that big number at the end, they've all got to do it on, the Cajels all have to be on roller skates. <laughs> and so I, that was one of my goals was trying to figure out how to get, you know, all the cushels, um on roller skates dancing because they did. <laughs> with you on my arm. Each time I face a morning that's boring and bland with you, it looks good. With you, it looks great. With you, it looks grand. Somehow you put a permanent star in my eye. Even the can be like 
sure if I told them right at the beginning that they were going to be on roller skates. I think that was something I possibly left for a tiny bit later to tell them. And uh, we got the skates and, you know, I wish that we had been able to uh, film, I, I doubt you have any of this, but film those early roller skating rehearsals with those guys. <laughs> we put them all in roller skates and we were in the rehearsal hall and it was just you know, some people had skating abilities and they'd been roller skating and others not as much. And just what that sort of free for all, that very first day of rehearsal was like, I was entertained beyond belief. Um, and I hadn't, <laughs> we hadn't even staged anything. And those guys and girl, Janice was one of the Cajels. Um, they were troopers. They were troopers for all of it. And, um, <laughs> I loved it. I just loved the willingness of them to jump in and do it and to go for all the crazy things that I asked for. And I did ask for crazy things. Um, <laughs> it was great. Yeah. I loved it. In the video we're about to see, you're going to see, and they're talking about putting on makeup and uh, <laughs> it's, it's really fun. Hi, I'm Matt and I am backstage at Cabrillo Stage. I'm one of the cast members of La Cajo Fall. I play one of the Cajels and I'm about to invite you into our makeup tutorial where we're teaching all of the Cajels how to apply drag makeup. So come with me. As you can see, we have Anthony and Alex and we have Dwayne. They're all getting ready their first time with their makeup this evening. We're doing tests and with wigs. And then we have Hugh with our star. He's just getting, he's just starting to be pretty, just like 30 seconds ago. And we've got a wig lady going on over there. So it's quite an exciting time. This is going to be madness backstage, but it doesn't even compare to the madness you're going to see on stage. This is Robert. He's a Cajel, and uh, he hasn't quite shaved yet, but that's going to be happening very shortly. But this is uh, First Night in Makeup, and he's one of our taller Cajels. Taller. We're about the same height right now. Right now. But yeah, on stage and in heels, not even quite the same. Not even quite. Tell us who the Kajels are, for those who don't know the show. The Kajels are the main dancers. They're the featured dancers in the show. They are the backup to Zaza, and they perform while Zaza is doing many of her costume changes and take you on many different rides throughout the evening. <laughs> First of all, I have to say it's an honor to be a part of this cast. Um, everyone on the line is great. You guys have to come and see the show. It's awesome. 
Um, but for me personally, I play Hannah, and she's the feisty one of the group. So I get to have a lot of fun with that character. You guys have to come and check that out. Check that out. And what about you, Dwayne? What does it mean for you to be a Kajan? Well, I'm definitely going to second Alex on this is an amazing cast, and I'm totally honored to just even be on stage with like the nine or the other eight Kajels. Um, but for me personally, definitely being a Kajel is to be larger than life. It's that moment Definitely. like where nothing can hold you back and you're yeah. as sexy as you want to be and as fierce as you want to be and as fabulous as you want to be. And that's what Kajels are. They're just, there's what, it's, there's a Kajel inside of everybody. So like you have to come exactly. to the show and let your Kajel out. Yes, you do. Anthony? <laughs> oh, I agree. <laughs> All right. And over here we have Zen. And we have, I'm drawing a blank all of a sudden, my love, James. James. <laughs> so there's nine Kajels, eight of which are men, one of which is a female, and you have to guess which one is which. I do have to say that the guys and Janice, um, they were wonderful. They all, they all got it. They all, you know, number one, were so excited to be doing this. So they embraced every element of it um, from start to finish. And um, I think that that showed on stage. Yeah. And I also have to say that I knew when I was casting the Kajels that I wanted to make one of them a woman. And I remember that that was sort of following in the suit of how actually it was originally done on Broadway, which had a, more Kajels than we did. And uh, I believe there were two women in the original one. And I thought, because you don't know that until the very end, if you've chosen the right woman who can yeah. fit into that, what you're asking her to do, which is layer upon layer upon layer of something. And I had done a show with Janice uh, where once again, I had cast her at, in a male role and specifically to be able to play male. And she had done a production of Adam's Family for me and was one of the ancestors as a male. And, you know, she so totally made it work. And it's the body language that has to happen to make yeah. that work. And I thought she did just a fabulous job with you know being a Kajel and of all the people to do the interviewing of them and all of that that was sort of that was great she's that a real gypsy you know happened. she's that type of she's that type of character you know she's just in there for the troop which is really a wonderful thing so Kajel's talking about it. they're so excited they're excited about the makeup and then as we show uh in one of the videos today uh they're doing um I am what I am uh, and the precision on their dancing is so precise. It's actually taken from the show. So, and, and I know that these guys, you know, <laughs> getting getting a bunch of guys to be that precise of differing uh, dance abilities, shall we say, it's really fabulous. I mean, they really put in 110%, I felt. They did, without a doubt. And, you know, I, I set the bar high, uh, certainly not unreachable, but... I always go in and in my head, you know, I know where I'm going and where I'm aiming. And I also know that oftentimes people undershoot what they think they can do. And nine times out of 10, it's because nobody's ever asked them to do it, nor has anybody kind of been with them through it. You know, if it requires teaching something, if it requires in a, a kind of emotional or psychological support to get there. Um, oftentimes they haven't had that to stretch in the direction I might be asking them to go choreographically. And, you know, it's, it's wonderful to see people grow that way and do that. And, you know, they did that. They did that. They, they, they trusted me, which is always great to have an eye for what was going to work for them. And I, and I always promise my casts that I will never put them on stage looking stupid or ridiculous unless that was actually the role <laughs> that you were supposed to look that way. <laughs> but in real life, I would never, ever do that. So in the six weeks that we're rehearsing, where they might try something for me at the beginning that is like, well, that didn't work or it wasn't particularly finessed, I'd say, wait, 
this is day one. Let's continue to work with it. You trust me that I will not put you out there looking stupid or ridiculous. So as we get to where we need to be, I will adapt whatever needs to happen because it doesn't do me any great service to have somebody out there, you know, not looking wonderful and competent and a solid performer, no matter what it is in any element of it. So that's a big part of getting hopefully a cast to trust you. And then they're willing to try some things and you always want them to feel comfortable with trying some things. On you, it looks great! Olé! <laughs> On you, it looks grand! Somehow, you put a permanent song in my Well, ladies and gentlemen, the first act is over in our journey back to the theater in summer 2021. In act two, we will begin by offering a complete archival production video of our world premiere performance of Joe Ortiz's Escaping Queens, which was sold out for two seasons in a row in 2012 and 2013. But before that, it's time for intermission. So let's take a stroll out to the lobby and visit our happy concessionaires as they treat us to some memories and entertainment of their own next time on The Stars of Cabrillo Stage. <laughs>